guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Make sure you're following us on Instagram and also check out our Patreon page. About a year ago, I made a silly promise to some of you that I will do a tour in a swimsuit when we hit 100K subscribers. I did not think that moment was gonna come anytime soon, but here we are, 100K subscribers. And the perfect opportunity just presented itself. We are on board of our chartered catamaran with Dream Yacht Charters, and we cannot wait to show it to you. Welcome aboard Bali 5.4. We are on our swim step and what's interesting about this, right Rico, is that you can actually walk through here, which yes. is nice. A lot of the other cats don't really have that option, so it's kind of nice that you can walk all the way through and when the, when the dinghy is down, right? Yeah, you get your tender davit here, which um, drops down in the water. These little covers come up and flip over and then you can lift out the dinghy out of the water. So it's a nice, like a jumping platform here just nice to be able to go back and forth and you need to reach something here and yeah. stuff so yeah i, I like agree. that I, I think that's a nice little addition i agree what do we get there oh so we have a transfer shower here right here we just have it hooked here for ease of use <laughs> you just take it off and shower off and yeah that's this and um our closures to make sure everyone's safe here lifeline closure right here all right what do we got here our Extra propane. Mm-hmm. For the stove. Yep. Right. Okay, coming up. This is kind of uh, interesting and I guess unique to Bali. Sorry, you guys, the boat is a little salty. We've been on it for a few days and uh, yeah, so it's, you know, you get to see it in use. There is a, could be a cooling box usage, but storage. it's really just a storage with drainage there and, you know, can uh -huh. put all the, all the water goes through. All right, come on up. We got here. Oh, emergency oh, wow. bilge pumps. Ooh, is there water in there? A little bit. There's a little bit of water in there. Yep. Okay, so emergency bilge <laughs> pumps here and our engine rooms on both sides. We're gonna do that at the end, right? Yep. All right, this is our cockpit on Bali's. It's quite different because the design is different. So at first, when you look at it, it's a kind of a smaller cockpit for a pretty much a you know, 55 um, foot catamaran. There is a reason for it, and you guys see it in a moment. This is just an additional cooler that we're using for all mm -hmm. snorkel gear and stuff, and obviously all our crazy amount of shoes and fins and snorkels. Underneath me is a pretty massive storage compartment, so this this whole thing here comes up, and you can just lift up this. It's got drains, and just put it up like that, and there's a whole bunch of stuff stored underneath, so. Got all life rafts in there. Yeah, just exactly. There's life rafts, there's, you know, extra space for a barbecue, like whatever you want to put there. Fenders, lines. Yep. So same matching storage on this side as well. Same thing, I have some snorkel gear in here. Mm -hmm. Nice and convenient in the back. All right, shall we go forward? Let's go to the bow. So these are our stateroom entrances. There are one on each side. This is a six cabin, six head layout. And these are entrances to two of the aft cabins. All right, let's go. The walkway is really nice and wide, right? It's really, it feels really safe. No hatches at all, which um, I'm sure was somewhat of a choice and maybe there's different ways of doing it. There are no hatches at all, so it's completely flush. And another really unique feature of Bali sailing catamaran is there are no trampolines which is pretty rare to see. According to Bali Catamarans, the freeboard on this yacht is so high that they were able to get away with not having trampolines. I gotta say we've been using it and I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> um, I have not experienced it in the heavy, crazy seas and we're not sure how it would be, but in just a um, charter version, cruising this gorgeous Exumas Bahamas, it is definitely working. It is beautiful. 
we've been laying out here, looking at the stars, you know, just chilling. Like it is a really nice area here. So we have this layout cushions here. Also kind of nice since it's it's solid, it feels safer. Absolutely. Especially having kids on board, yep. right? Running around, jumping around. You have really, really good size railings forward and it's just a very safe platform. Also like having dogs on board, having, yeah. you know, just it, it, it has definitely got an interesting, um, interesting kind of a safe space that you feel like, okay, we've got railings everywhere. So it's, it's really, really nice. All right, so we have a little two stair, little staircases coming down and into a sunken in uh, lounge area. This table is pretty great. We've had drinks and dinners out here and it is definitely pretty massive. Right? Yeah, that's great. With a nice storage here as well for whatever you want to put here. Really a, a big, amazing feature here. Yes. I really love it. Okay, then also, and storage wise, we have this massive storage here. You wanna show it? Yes, yeah, so underneath this cushion, there's a huge compartment, which we have tons of fenders <laughs> and lines here. It's really big. Look, like, let's and put then, Rico here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna pull this out just to show you guys. Here's our generator. Yeah, big generator with a designated battery, so you don't really wor worry about it. it's running off the engine batteries or the um, the house bank, so it's own own battery. If you ever you know run everything else down, at least you'll be able to start your generator back up. Well, since you have been anchoring this entire trip. I have been anchoring this entire trip. Uh, let me show you how that works, which was also a little bit different uh, from what I'm used to. And I kind of like it, to be honest. All right. So we lift this to us. up, this here up. That's our access to the anchor in the chain. Mm -hmm. And as you guys can see, we're anchored right now. Since we're anchored right now, so normally the bridle would hook in right in this little spot here where the D-ring is. But right now, of course, we're anchored and the bridle is hanging in the water. So we get this open, then we also open this up. And that's where we have access to the rest of our chain and the remote control. Oh, cool. We just come around. It's really nice. You can see the anchor really well. Yeah. Rico can actually see the chain, right? Mm -hmm. From up there, from the flybridge. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty good accessibility. And yeah, I've been enjoying it. It's kind of good. It's also a pretty large anchor locker. The chain doesn't stack up too high and then it just crashes down, so you never really need to worry about stacking chain when you lift the anchor. Agreed. All right, so that's our anchor, and then we also have our bow um, compartments, which are each a crew stateroom. All right, let's just take a look at this. I like that, it's, um, that they mounted a shock on this one so it doesn't crash down on you. Okay. Actually, not too bad. So you have one bunk here going inboard. Got a little, a little light there, USB outlet, fan, LED lighting. This is the watertight door going to the starboard forward cabin. One storage here. And a sink. There's also storage in the, uh, for the head and there's also storage, I think, for the side for the... Oh yeah, there's storage actually here. Yeah. Like a lot of storage. I mean, for what it is. Got a porthole, get some ventilation going, can do some cross breeze with the overhead hatch open. And then we got a manual head. All the other heads are electric. This is, these are the only ones which are manual, which is perfectly fine, I think. And we got a little ladder going up here. I mean, not a dream crew stateroom, but it is okay. But it's fine. It's, it's a wet hat, so you can take a shower. It's, it's not bad. In this case, this is a bare boat charter yacht, and a lot of the times it's just an extra storage, just extra provisions, things, whatever that you can't fit somewhere else. I think it's, it's just a, a, a nice space to have. Like I have yeah. our suitcases stored there for, yeah. for the trip, for example, because we obviously don't have crew on board because we are the crew. Correct. All right, where are we going? Flybridge. All right, we're going up. Let's go up, check it out. So the staircase are definitely very comfortable. They feel very wide, very safe. Compared to some of the other catamarans of similar size, it's definitely, you definitely feel super safe. We Agree. had a pretty, uh, pretty gnarly storm we were in two days ago, and so everything was rainy and wet, and I felt very safe going up and down. 100%. So welcome to the flybridge of this uh, 5.4 Bali. Great little sitting area here. 
really cool. We actually had dinner up here last night and it was uh, really, really nice to, to have this area. I'm sure that, you know, there must be a way if you want to make this a whole massive table, you could probably could do that. But I kind of like this solution. It's got cup holders. It's great underway. I've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's fantastic, actually. Yeah. So you have this. There's a big storage lockers underneath on each yep. side. You can see it. Um, actually big enough for... We have like two propane tanks, small ones uh, stored there. So it's like mm -hmm. a, a good mm -hmm. amount of space there for sure. Also, this is a nice layout area here with another pretty massive oh, that's storage. A big storage. We didn't even utilize it. Nope. Still empty. Yeah. Um, you've got your sink here what? yeah what? wet bar sink it's um it's great because you also have this cooler we haven't even used it look this is from the storm i was wearing these and then got a drink fridge drink fridge here which is great we've been using as well mm -hmm. definitely feels very uh comfortable this this it, yacht and then also like the, the way the helm is positioned you have a great visibility even to the port side considering the helm is located on the starboard side i'll run through the helm we got our vhf radio we have a raymarine chart plotter our autopilot right there stereo fusion control a repeater or remote control then our yenmar engine monitor and start and stop ignition buttons or our panel right there and the shift and throttle control right up on top plus the manual compass on the very top. That is a watertight storage right there to the starboard side and then all lines are routed to the outboard side right there very convenient can easily reach it and we have all the other clutches which are needed for sailing also on the outboard side on the port side super easy access everything is really clean really easy to get to and on top of all that we got solar panels mounted on top of the hard top all around helping to keep the house bank charged without running the generator. Pretty nice. It is pretty nice. And also this area here could have a layout cushion. So it's a pretty big space that you can have a layout uh -huh. cushions on. So that's that's also pretty awesome. Fantastic, yeah. All right. Really happy with uh, the Bimini top here because when it was pouring dogs and cats, cats and dogs. Dogs and uh, cats, okay. Yeah. We, uh, we were pretty happy with the, uh, with, the little, with the little Bimini top. Yeah, definitely. And you can have it fully enclosed, uh, which I think that's option. I would have to, to just be able to roll them up and have, up. Yeah. Yeah, have that option if it's raining uh, or if it's cold. Um, yeah. Should we check out the interior? Yeah, let's go check All out right. the interior. Let's go. Alright, let's do this. A lot of interesting stuff. Welcome to Interior Bali 5.4. It is really open concept. So Bali's layout is definitely very different from a lot of other production catamarans that we have toured. This massive table that you guys see here, the dining table, immediately sticks out because as you saw, the cockpit area is not that big and there is no traditional dining sitting in a cockpit because we have this massive table here, and you're like, well, it'd be nice to have dinner outside. Well, Bali has that covered. So let me show you a really cool feature, which the first time when we've seen one, I was like, what? Very innovative. It's all, all right. open and ready to go. So we have locks and stuff, check it out. And then we have this safety feature. All right. And now we're dining outside. Well, almost outside. Nice. Now we're dining outside. This is pretty spectacular. So we've been trying this out for about a week now and kind of loving it. It's pretty cool. It's definitely very different. And you know, there are pros and cons, but it's in terms of just usage, it's pretty sweet. What makes it really nice is when you are in the galley area, this whole space is completely open and everyone kind of feels connected. So you really, if you want to sit out here, we had people playing games and stuff. 
cooking, like it just feels very, very open. Okay, so why don't we start from back here and work our way up, yeah? Cool. So starting here, we have a bunch of really deep storage areas here. They're pretty, uh, pretty big, mm -hmm. as you guys can see. Same thing here. Brings me to my favorite feature, double fridge. This is an option. Um, it comes with one fridge, but you can opt for two. And I amazing. love it. It's incredible. Like we're stuck out for two weeks and they're not even full. Like it's amazing. So it's got a fridge, freezer on this side. Nice lockup mechanisms here. We can use with your feet, which I've been a fan of. Double fridge, waters, uh, ice, everything. Exactly. Two ice makers. Each freezer has an ice maker, crushed ice, and cold water. As this yacht is a six cabin version, you know, that accommodates a lot of people. So this has been really nice to have for water for ice. So obviously a huge dining area here that we already looked at. This here is pretty amazing. There's a huge storage compartments here. I have some stuff in there, so I don't know if you can see how deep it is, but it is really, really deep, you guys. Really deep in there. Yeah, you can actually tell there are like one gallon water jug staying in there and you still have plenty of space on top. Yeah, so that's really comes really handy and useful. Same right here, and there's way more going down that way. There's storage underneath the cushions as well. Pretty big um, compartments there too. Like all the way around, right? All the way around, exactly. All right, keep coming forward. Nav station. Also have storages here. Nav station. I've got some spaces here, right here. I'm storing some breads and stuff down here. But yeah, so there's yeah, like you a get lot of room here. Kind of like a traditional chop table. Um, slash workspace. I mean, you can use it as a as a mobile office. It has a Raymarine repeater down here. You got your multifunction display with wind direction, whatever you want to put on there. Raymarine VHF radio. Then we have here our switch port for 12 volt and 220 slash 110 fuel gauge, fresh water gauge, and black water tank gauges as well as the Victron Energy Monitor. Here we got our Victron switch over for the inverter charger, generator control, and a fusion stereo. Is it cocktail kicking or what? The cocktail you just had before we filmed this? Is that, should, is, that, is that what's happening? Maybe I should have a little more of that. <laughs> all right, coming to the galley. It's a working galley, you guys, right now. I have all my stuff set up. Don't drink at the workplace. <laughs> Don't drink and film. All right. So um, the galley, you guys, you guys get to see as I how I have it organized. So it is, you know, I have stuff here. So galley is actually really nice. We've been enjoying it. Well, let's start on this side. Um, all this uh, storage is super deep and they're really, really big. So if you wanted to, you can even put shelves in here. But yeah, it's it's huge amount of storage. There's lots of space. Actually, yeah. yeah, got great trash can area here. We have, this is kind of interesting for bottles. I haven't seen that before and it's, you know, making use out of it. We have a four burner gas cooktop. Storage is underneath here. Also, well, there's an additional, somebody added a microwave. We have an oven here. It's a propane oven, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just large, large spaces here as well and all your silverware and stuff. So everything you need here, uh, kind of seems like not a lot of storage. Keeps going. Check this out. It's my uh, my snack mm -hmm. snack drawer for the guests. And then we come on this side. All of this is storage, and it is just massive. Wow. Yeah. And just you know all of that, and I'm gonna open all of it. But yeah, like you guys, like like this is a snack drawer. <laughs> That's a snack drawer. Yep. So also really nice feature, which is also quite unusual. Also, also. This window here. Oh, Great. I've been loving this, you guys. When in the marina on anchor, fantastic. Yeah, what's nice also in the evening when you got that like uh, sunset mosquito time, if you open it all, all up, it's just so breezy, mosquitoes can't even stay in. So you just mm -hmm. have this amazing breeze here. Mm -hmm. And also. What about what's going on with also? I don't know. Also? Feeling also is as well. also ish. As well, also, um, this door here. So you have complete nice walkway forward. 
to the cockpit area that we've shown you already with a beautiful table which you can also have dinner or sound downers or a really nice spot for breakfast actually that's been my favorite because it's kind of a, in the morning it's nice and quiet and beautiful out there so that's been really fun that's our galley i propose we go to the starboard side first cool All let's right. do it so it is identical on port and starboard, three cabins on each side. So we'll show you guys this uh, more in detail and then we run through the port side. All right, let's do this. All right, come in starboard. We're gonna go forward first. Okay. Okay, come on in. It's a higher bed, nice walk around. You can come all the way around. It's actually a good height. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. As we said, this boat does have a pretty high freeboard, so it, you get also a bit of a high with height with the ceiling as well. So that's really nice. Okay, awesome. so we have a nice size bed here. Behind you is a closet. Should I open it? Yes, please. Okay, so right behind the door into the cabin. Oh, that's a good size. And a hanging locker as well. Mm -hmm. Hanging closet. Not much to it. This is the space and fans here, which is nice. And also they see in every room. Mm -hmm. And here, there's a drawer here. So the portholes open, so you can open both of them up for a little bit of cross breeze. And we also have a, a good size hatch. Um, overhead, yeah. Yeah, overhead hatch. Can you show it? Yeah, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Coming to the head, I think it's kind of a one person head, so I'll let Rico do the tour. Just gonna show. You want? <laughs> Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna have to lock myself in too, cause you know. Oh well, yeah, aren't you enjoying this? <sighs> the shower is good size. Right, give me one second. Hey, don't turn the water on. Oh, yes, I am enjoying this. Okay, it's a one one person shower. Um, it's it's actually pretty decent, you know, elbow room. It's obviously on the smaller side, but you know, it's not bad. It's totally okay for a quick shower. Most of the time in the Caribbean, we take our showers outside anyway. Hang on, stay, stay in there. What? <laughs> okay, so here we're looking at the hatch now, which is the access to the Four Peaks. It's a watertight door, just in case you will ever, you know, have an issue, hit something, which I showed you guys already on the uh, exterior. So now you see it, how it looks from the interior, how to get to it. Nice second head for this cabin. And then electric head, fresh water flush on this boat, sink, mirror, some storage area. And then there's more storage underneath the sink right there. You want to come back out? Can I come out now? Come out. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go midship. Yes. Okay, coming midship. This cabin is definitely different. It's a low bed, which is nice. It's got um, oh, a lot of headroom. A lot of headroom. Um, you know, they're kind of trade-offs in, in this cabin, that cabin. So this one doesn't have an overhead hatch but it is a little more headroom and just depending on how big of a person you are, maybe this is more comfortable. You also have a little bit more closet space here. So you have this one and you also have this one. So it is good amount of storage for sure. For sure. And also there are some shelves behind you, Rico, but you only have one porthole definitely here. So, and no overhead hatch, so, you know. If you got another window here, but. Yeah, but if you have, you know, if it's hot, obviously air conditioning would be the only way to. Yeah. Pull yourself up. I mean, there is a hatch. There are some hatches in the head as well, which you know, you leave the door open and have them run. Okay, that's, uh, that's a nice again. setup. All right. Yeah, this is this is nice. Okay. That's comfy. Yeah, this is um, probably a little bigger. Um, just different. Different yeah. layout. Yeah, just a little different layout. I I think the shower is a little bit bigger. So this one has. Some storage here, mm -hmm. which I'm surprised didn't do another shelf. Probably would have been kind of nice. Yeah, put higher stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then also you have some storage here as well. Keep going. So we go into the port side. It's going to be identical. So it's a total mirror total image of mirror the starboard image. side. So we're not gonna spend too much time on it, you guys. Same exact thing that we just seen. Just run through it. So you, if you don't believe us, but it is exactly the same.
And this is our cabin, Rico and I, so exact same thing that you guys just seen. So we're gonna show you the two aft cabins next. Going to the starboard side again. So, cool thing about the aft cabins are that they have both private entrances. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And what what I really like about uh, Bali that they made sure to make it really tall, so you're never really concerned about hitting your head going in and out. Yeah. All right, let's check it out. The cabin is actually a pretty good space too. Um, they did a really good job on kind of spacing out six cabins to have somewhat of a similar size or you know just similar feel that you have a lot of room. This one has a lot of headroom. It's um, it's not a walk around bed, but you know the trade off is that you feel like you have a little bit more space here. So we have a storage closet here. And we also have a really nice big space here as well. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's it's pretty good. And you have shelves behind where Rico is standing. The bed is a little tapered, mm -hmm. right? Towards the end of the foot end. Yeah, it feels um, a little bit smaller than obviously the, the forward cabin. The and bed. The, but it's it's exactly the same like the midship cabins. Yep. And the top part is definitely queen size. And the trade-off in this cabin is the head because it's a wet head, which means that you are showering in the same area uh, where the toilet is. So it's really interesting because initially you think kind of like, hmm, that maybe it's weird, but we just uh, had a few guests on board and s some of them found really positive features about it. Somebody said like, well, it's kind of nice to have a bidet in your uh, cabin. Also, it's kind of nice when you're showering, you can always keep your toilet clean. So you immediately shower over so everything's clean. Maybe it's really not a trade-off. It just depends what you like. What do we got here? There's no storage here storage area here. Actually a pretty good size. Big, big storage, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we are port aft and again we have identical cabins on each side. So it's mirror image you guys of the other side exactly the same. Again, really simple, not, not too much fighting about. So same head over here. All right, you go. Engine room. Engine room. Mm -hmm. Which is fantastic. Really looking forward to going in there right now oh, since we just so ran the engines and it's about 80 degrees outside. So in there it's probably 100. And there's no breeze at all. So hopefully he's just going to film the engines and not himself because he's going to be completely sweaty. Am I already? But you know what the good thing is, right? No. You can jump in the water right after this tour. You never get a chance to do that on any of the tours we normally do. I like it. Okay, go. Alrighty. <laughs> Okay, so starting here in the back, that's our rudder, rudder post, and our rudder linkage going all the way over to the starboard side. We got a water heater mounted right there. Equally on the starboard side, another water heater. Then a water maker, which works really well. Been using it every day. And our Yanmar engine package, which is installed on this catamaran here specifically, which is a Mm -hmm. It's a 4JH80. That's 80 horsepower. And then we have a fire suppression system. Nice. <laughs> Our exhaust, which goes overboard right there. Yeah, that's a pretty tidy engine room. Same Easy thing. access. Same thing on the other side? Same thing on the other side, except no water maker. All right, that was uh, the tour of the engine room. Oh. Baby, I'm pretty sure when people meant bikini tour, they did not mean you. Oh, why not? I just have like just a hunch. Okay. I don't, I don't think they meant you. You sure? I think you should go change. Okay, I'll put a t-shirt on. Oh, I hope nobody saw you. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> 
All right, you guys, this concludes our tour of Bali 5.4, six cabin layout. This yacht is for charter with Dream Yacht Charter in the Bahamas. So if you guys are interested, all the contact information will be in the description below the video. We always appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. Thank you so much for taking the time, taking a second to do that. It makes a huge difference and helps our channel keep going. If you guys have any questions about chartering yacht in the Bahamas or the Caribbean, I suggest you follow us on Patreon and connect with us there and we'll make sure to address any questions you might have. And we will see you on the next one. Ciao and enjoy the outtakes. It's a Bali, it's a Bali for, it's a Bali 5.4. It's a Bali 5. <clears throat> Anything else? Let's do it one more time. That was really. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, one more time. Can't talk. Okay. This is just an additional cooler that we're using for all our snor snorkel, gear and mm -hmm. snorkel gear and stuff. This is a six cabin, six, uh, six staterooms, six heads. Um, I gotta jump in the water. I gotta jump in the water. Right what after that, we'll jump in the water. So this is definitely the concept, this completely open concept with this massive... The concept is completely concept, concept, concept. concept. Okay. Right. As well as the uh, Victron Energy Management. No, Victron Energy... As well as, well as the Victron Energy Monitor. Oh. Which is the exit, the access. What are we po po poking me at? Oh, there is a drawer? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I'm putting it in the scan. It needs to be cleaned in there. Check in there. Okay, so we are on the port, port, port side. side. Port aft. It's also a pretty nice cabin, you guys. I gotta say, they did a. Okay. And stop. Why does it look so weird? Then? So do like. Who's whistling? I don't know. All oh, these people. Did they see it? <laughs> what did you say? Tickles? What did you say? Yeah, tickles. You said, how can, how can you deal with this? It really tickles. Oh! I don't know. I don't think YouTube allows this.